The Employment Situation, February 2022. Transmission of material in this news release is embargoed until 8.30 a.m. Eastern, Friday, March 4, 2022. Total non-farm payroll employment rose by 678,000 in February, and the unemployment rate edged down to 3.8 percent, the U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics reported today. Job growth was widespread, led by gains in leisure and hospitality, professional and business services, healthcare, and construction. This news release presents statistics from two monthly surveys. The household survey measures labor force status, including unemployment, by demographic characteristics. The establishment survey measures non-farm employment, hours, and earnings by industry. For more information about the concepts and statistical methodology used in these two surveys, see the technical note. Household survey data. In February, the unemployment rate edged down to 3.8%, and the number of unemployed persons edged down to 6.3 million. In February 2020, prior to the coronavirus, COVID-19, pandemic, the unemployment rate was 3.5%, and the number of unemployed persons was 5.7 million. See Table A1. Among the major worker groups, the unemployment rates for adult men, 3.5%, and Hispanics, 4.4%, declined in February. The jobless rates for adult women, 3.6%, teenagers, 10.3%, whites, 3.3%, blacks, 6.6%, and Asians, 3.1%, showed little or no change over the month. See Tables A1, A2, and A3. Among the unemployed, the number of persons on temporary layoff, at 888,000 in February, was little changed over the month. The number of permanent job losers, at 1.6 million in February, also changed little. Both measures are higher than their February 2020 levels of 780,000 and 1.3 million, respectively. See Table A11. In February, the number of persons jobless less than five weeks declined by 286,000 to 2.1 million. The number of long-term unemployed, those jobless for 27 weeks or more, was essentially unchanged at 1.7 million. This measure is 581,000 higher than in February 2020. The long-term unemployed accounted for 26.7% of the total unemployed in February 2022. See Table A12. The labor force participation rate, at 62.3% in February, changed little over the month. The employment population ratio edged up to 59.9%. Both measures remain below their February 2020 levels, 63.4% and 61.2%, respectively. See Table A1. The number of persons employed part-time for economic reasons increased by 418,000 to 4.1 million in February but remains below its February 2020 level of 4.4 million. These individuals, who would have preferred full-time employment, were working part-time because their hours had been reduced or they were unable to find full-time jobs. See Table A8. The number of persons not in the labor force who currently want a job declined by 349,000 to 5.4 million in February. This measure is above its February 2020 level of 5.0 million. These individuals were not counted as unemployed because they were not actively looking for work during the four weeks preceding the survey or were unavailable to take a job. See Table A1. Among those not in the labor force who wanted a job, the number of persons marginally attached to the labor force, at 1.5 million, changed little in February. These individuals wanted and were available for work and had looked for a job sometime in the prior 12 months but had not looked for work in the four weeks preceding the survey. The number of discouraged workers, a subset of the marginally attached who believed that no jobs were available for them, was little changed over the month at 391,000. See Summary Table A. Household Survey Supplemental Data. In February, 13.0% of employed persons teleworked because of the coronavirus pandemic, down from 15.4% in the prior month. These data refer to employed persons who teleworked or worked at home for pay at some point in the four weeks preceding the survey specifically because of the pandemic. In February, 4.2 million persons reported that they had been unable to work because their employer closed or lost business due to the pandemic. That is, they did not work at all or worked fewer hours at some point in the four weeks preceding the survey due to the pandemic. This measure is down from 6.0 million in the previous month. Among those who reported in February that they were unable to work because of pandemic-related closures or lost business, 
20.3% received at least some pay from their employer for the hours not worked, down from 23.7% in January. Among those not in the labor force in February, 1.2 million persons were prevented from looking for work due to the pandemic, down from 1.8 million in the prior month. To be counted as unemployed, by definition, individuals must be either actively looking for work or on temporary layoff. These supplemental data come from questions added to the household survey beginning in May 2020 to help gauge the effects of the pandemic on the labor market. The data are not seasonally adjusted. Tables with estimates from the supplemental questions for all months are available online at www.bls.gov slash cps slash effects dash of dash the dash coronavirus dash covid dash 19 dash pandemic dot htm. Establishment survey data. Total non-farm payroll employment rose by 678,000 in February but is down by 2.1 million, or 1.4 percent, from its pre-pandemic level in February 2020. Job growth was widespread over the month, led by gains in leisure and hospitality, professional and business services, healthcare, and construction. See Table B1. Employment in leisure and hospitality continued to increase, with a gain of 179,000 in February. Job growth occurred in food services and drinking places, plus 124,000, and in accommodation, plus 28,000. Since February 2020, employment in leisure and hospitality is down by 1.5 million, or 9.0%. Professional and business services added 95,000 jobs in February. Job gains occurred in temporary help services, plus 36,000, management of companies and enterprises, plus 12,000, management and technical consulting services, plus 10,000, and scientific research and development services, plus 8,000. Employment in professional and business services is 596,000 higher than in February 2020, largely in temporary help services, plus 240,000, computer systems design and related services, plus 154,000, and management and technical consulting services, plus 152,000. Employment in healthcare rose by 64,000 in February. Job gains occurred in home healthcare services, plus 20,000 offices of physicians, plus 15,000 and offices of other health practitioners, plus 12,000. Employment in healthcare is down by 306,000 or 1.9% from its level in February 2020. Construction added 60,000 jobs in February, following little change in the prior month. About three-fourths of the over-the-month job gain occurred in specialty trade contractors, with increases in both the residential, plus 24,000, and non-residential, plus 20,000, components. Construction employment is slightly below, minus 11,000, its February 2020 level. Employment in transportation and warehousing increased by 48,000 in February and is 584,000 higher than in February 2020. Over the month, Job gains continued in warehousing and storage, plus 11,000, couriers and messengers, plus 9,000, support activities for transportation, plus 9,000, and air transportation, plus 7,000. All four of these component industries have surpassed their February 2020 employment levels, with particularly strong job growth in warehousing and storage, plus 420,000, and couriers and messengers, plus 240,000. Employment in retail trade rose by 37,000 in February, with gains in building material and garden supply stores, plus 12,000, furniture and home furnishing stores, plus 6,000, and gasoline stations, plus 5,000. Retail trade employment is 104,000 above its level in February 2020. Manufacturing added 36,000 jobs in February. Employment in durable goods industries rose by 20,000 with job gains in fabricated metal products, plus 11,000, machinery, plus 8,000, electrical equipment and appliances, plus 4,000, non-metallic mineral products, plus 3,000, furniture and related products, plus 3,000, and primary metals, plus 3,000. These gains were partially offset by a job loss in motor vehicles and parts, minus 18,000. Non-durable goods manufacturing also added jobs over the month plus 16,000. Since February 2020, manufacturing employment is down by 178,000, or 1.4%. In February, employment in financial activities rose by 35,000. Job gains were split between finance and insurance, plus 16,000, 
and real estate, plus 16,000. Employment in financial activities is 31,000 above its level in February 2020. Social assistance added 31,000 jobs in February, with a gain of 21,000 jobs in individual and family services. Since February 2020, employment in social assistance is down by 152,000, or 3.5%. Employment increased by 25,000 in the other services industry in February, led by a gain in repair and maintenance, plus 10,000. Employment in the other services industry is down by 317,000, or 5.3%, from its level in February 2020. Wholesale trade added 18,000 jobs in February. Employment in the industry is 113,000, or 1.9%, lower than in February 2020. Mining employment rose by 9,000 in February, with gains in support activities for mining, plus 6,000, and in oil and gas extraction, plus 2,000. Mining employment has grown by 62,000 since a recent low in February 2021. Employment showed little or no change over the month in information and government. Average hourly earnings for all employees on private non-farm payrolls, at $31.58 in February, were little changed over the month plus one cent, after large increases in recent months. Over the past 12 months, average hourly earnings have increased by 5.1%. In February, average hourly earnings of private sector production and non-supervisory employees rose by 8 cents to $26.94. See tables B3 and B8. The average workweek for all employees on private non-farm payrolls rose by 0.1 hour to 34.7 hours in February. In manufacturing, the average workweek for all employees increased by 0.4 hour to 40.7 hours, and overtime rose by 0.2 hour to 3.6 hours. The average workweek for production and non-supervisory employees on private non-farm payrolls was up by 0.1 hour to 34.1 hours. See tables B2 and B7. The change in total non-farm payroll employment for December was revised up by 78,000, from plus 510,000 to plus 588,000, and the change for January was revised up by 14,000, from plus 467,000 to plus 481,000. With these revisions, employment in December and January combined as 92,000 higher than previously reported. Monthly revisions result from additional reports received from businesses and government agencies since the last published estimates and from the recalculation of seasonal factors. The employment situation for March is scheduled to be released on Friday, April 1, 2022, at 8.30 a.m., Eastern.